project puts together a group of uh, scientists um, with local stakeholders. They work together in a so-called innovation group uh, and they work on solutions and um, new ideas to uh, solve the zero-sum game of sustainable land use on the one hand side and uh, renewable energies on the other hand side. Renewable energy needs land, so wind farms, bioenergy, uh, even uh, photovoltaic panels that are in the landscape, they need land resources and there you can, they, you can find them in the regional, in the regions, in the urban regions. And, but there's also a, a scarcity in the land that is used already for other purposes like tourism, like uh, infrastructure projects. And um, when you go into uh, regions where there's already a lot of competition on uh, land use, then the renewable energies have a extra, uh, provide an extra uh, competition, an extra uh, triggering factor that kind of makes it hard for these regions to come up with the uh, energy transition. Energy transition is a very complex topic. We have very different disciplines working on it, like economics, political science, sociologists, but also like engineers. So it's a technical problem, it's a social problem, it's an economic problem, and it's a problem of, of, of planning, a uh, judicial problem, um, spatial planning problem. So what you have to do, and it's based on, on the regional level, so it's a very local, local focus. You have to plan the wind farms very in a de decentralized manner in the urban regions and that involves a lot of stakeholders that also address different issues, planning issues, uh, economic issues, social issues, uh, issues of uh, public acceptance and that's where the RI issue comes into play where we need a lot of tools, you know, not a lot of uh, um, yeah, uh, tools to, um, to involve the local stakeholders, to involve the local interest groups and the knowledge that's, that's available in the, in the field and combine it with the expertise, the scientific expertise on renewable energies and energy efficiency. What we experience is that it takes a number of very different perspectives, both of science and of local stakeholders to fully grasp the complexity of energy, of an energy transition. And for us, it was very important to provide a platform of communication for the local stakeholders so that enables them to come up with their own solutions and their own ideas for their problems.